All right, this is the most exciting one yet. Draw my picture. One angle, putting it over here. Angle A is 47. So side A is 17. I have another side. I want it to be here. So this has to be angle B. This has to be angle C and this has to be side C. Angle, side, side. Side opposite is less than the side adjacent, so I have to find my height. Not a nice number, so I need to use my calculator. So the sine of 47 is gonna equal my height over 19, or 19 times the sine of 47 will give me my height. So my height is 13.9. So if the side opposite is bigger than your height, think of this if this was on a hinge, okay? This is 17. This is still smaller than this, so I could swing this over here and I could have two potential triangles. I'm going to have a triangle that looks like this, okay? This is A, B, C. This will be 19, 17, 47 degrees, and this is going to be some acute angle. Or I'm going to have a second potential triangle. This will be still 47 degrees. This will still be 17. This will still be 19. But angle B is going to be an obtuse angle. This is called the ambiguous case. Okay. So given angle side side, you find your height. If your height is smaller than this side, you're going to have two triangles as your answer. So what do we do? Well, we start out the exact same way. We're gonna find this one first. So here's my pairing. So I have the sine of 47 over 17 equals the sine of B over 19. So B will equal the inverse sine of 19 times the sine of 47 over 17. So angle B is approximately 54.8, okay? So this angle here is 54.8. I'm gonna have two different triangles. How do I get my obtuse angle? This angle B, this angle here is 54.8. So I take 180 minus 54.8 to get my other angle B, my obtuse angle B. And I get 125.2 degrees. So once I've got my two angle B's, I can then find my other third angle on both of them. So I measure of angle C is gonna equal 180 minus 47 minus 54.8. And this angle C will be 180 minus 47 minus 125.2. So this one is 78.2 degrees. And this one is 7.8 degrees, which makes sense, okay? And we'll go back when we're done and we'll look and make sure that everything makes sense. So the only thing I have left to find in both of them is my side C. I'm gonna use this relationship and then of course I'll use that angle. So 
the sine of 47 over 17 equals the sine of 78.2 over C. And here, the sine of 47 over 17 will equal the sine of 7.8 over C. So here C will equal 17 times the sine of 78.2 divided by the sine of 47. And then this one, C will equal 17 times the sine of 7.8 divided by the sine of 47. And I'm going to plug those both in my calculator. So this is approximately 22.8. And this is approximately 3.2. So double check all my answers, okay? So I have here angle B was 54.8. Angle C was 78.2, side C is 22.8. So smallest angle, smallest side, largest angle, largest side, looks good. And then this one, angle B was 125.2, I didn't really leave myself a lot of room. Angle C was 7.8 and side C is 3.2. Largest angle, longest side, smallest angle, smallest side.